All right, folks, CC Scraps here. I'm gonna scrap out this oven, micro scrap it. Um, we'll see how it goes. First time I've really done this with an oven. I just kind of like to see how things come apart. That's what I always did when I was little. I take things apart, put them back together. Um, it's the church. Uh, earlier it was freezing when I came on earlier, but now it's starting to warm up. It's nice out. Nice fall day in upstate New York. That could change at any time. All right, I already started here. I got these wires I'm about to cut out. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens here. This is be number, it's probably gonna be number two, insulated copper wire. If we get away with that. Um, there's some circuit boards like right in here. There's like a little transformer that's probably got copper in it. So this is, you know, I mean, you can even take this to the scrap yard. You can get four to five cents a pound, which isn't bad, but I'm going to take it apart and see what happens. Might be an extra couple bucks, but also too, this is kind of like, you know, kind of like my, what's the word? Chi, maybe? <laughs> Something like that. Um, this here is just going to be steel. It's going to go into the steel shred pile. Um, I like to micro scrap things. This is probably going to get boring, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit, pause it, show you my progress, do a little bit, pause it, you know. Uh, your quarter inch, uh, I guess hex nuts, right? I picked these up at the dollar store, a whole pack of them. Uh, or no, I, I, I lie, sorry, not at the dollar store. I picked up a whole bag of these at the flea market. I think they're like two bucks. They're cheapies, but it does the job for what I need. Put these over here. Keep going quarter inch. Take the back of this off, and plus two, it's going to be lighter for my truck. I have a like a fiberglass cover that just lifts up. It's kind of a pain. I want to get rid of it and do a tonneau cover. But, and over here behind you guys is my little screw thing, and right here is my coffee. So, cheers on that. Wife will be coming out soon. I gotta put the light up on the side of the house for it. Pretty dark in the morning and steel top. See? Safety screw. Got more wire. This might be aluminum. There might be some copper in here too. Looks like some brass right down low here by my foot. You can't see it. That's that little brass fitting for the gas. I'm gonna clip these out. Let's see what we got here. Get these out of the way. I'm just going to bring it right down and see what happens. Take these edges off. It gives me something to do on a Sunday. You can only play so much PlayStation. Well, I don't want to say that, but it's a good time. And then I got to work tomorrow. 6 to 2.30, but there's been a lot of overtime going on, so I think I might take advantage of that. I don't know yet. For those of you who don't know, I it matters. I'm just making conversation while I'm doing this, trying to make it interesting. Uh, I work at an auto supply warehouse west of here by the fairgrounds. United Auto Supply. Good, good company. Makes me happy. And once in a while, if you've seen my videos, uh, once in a while they'll give me some of their scrap, like their wire. Uh, a few months ago they gave me 20 fluorescent lights they were going to throw out. Managed to make almost $70 off of that. And again, thank you United Auto. I got sheet aluminum, ballast, this number two wire. Uh, and then the actual steel frames. So, it, you know, and again, I could have brought those to the scrapyard for five cents a pound. But instead, I scrapped it out because the inside of it was all sheet aluminum. 
It was perfect. And then, you know, like I said, the ballast, the wire, and the steel. So you get four to five things instead of one thing. And you make more money. It just takes a little time is all. Oh, hey, baby. All right, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to put this light up real quick. And uh, I'll be right back to you guys. Sit tight. I can't pause it. Here we go. Hey, scrappers, I'm back. I managed to knock the top of this stove down. Uh, pulled, whoops, crap. Pulled this little circuit board out. It's got this little transformer here. It's got copper in it. When I get a Dremel and a good cutting wheel, I'm going to slice all. I got a few of these. I'm going to slice them all open and harvest it. Uh, I just figured something out. I have my little quarter inch nut driver and on the top of this stove on the other side are little star bits. Check this out. Oh, look at that. Boom. I feel like a little evil genius, but it comes loose. So, I mean, not all geniuses are, or not all evil geniuses. It works that easy sometimes, but yeah. So basically this is the top of the burners. They're coming right out, which is kind of cool. I'm on. Some of them are greased right in there. Oh, see, I spoke too soon. Damn it. Oh, wait a minute. We might be able to get him out of there. We never know. No, we're going to have to hit that with the crowbar. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did speak too soon. Some of these are greased right in there, and they're not going to come out. Ugh. They're turning. Oh, Mark. Uh -oh. There you go. There's one. Some of you got to bust loose. Actually, I broke the top off of that one. I'm going to have to get my screwdriver on there. See? Oh, well. I'm going to get talking. Smack. These here are some cast aluminum. These are where the gas comes out of. So there's money right there. That's extra money. Uh, number two copper wire. I mean, it's there. You know, it's little bits. You get a bunch of this saved up, though. Some good grips. You know, it works out. Okay, put that aside. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh -oh. There we go. That's to get a better screw gun. This one's a good one for like light work, but I really need one with a lot of torque, which will happen soon. My wife are gonna get a new place here soon, and hopefully, I have a nice shed to work with and. We'll figure it out. The part of this does not want to come off. I don't know what I could do. Do a little trick here. Okay. Not gonna come say hi. And I snapped that one off too. Crazy. Well, we're stuck right in there, folks. Uh, I got him. I'll put that one right there. She's a rusty. I'm going to get in there on it.
nothing. That's all right. But yeah, little tap on the hammer trick works. Yeah, scrappers, you gotta get yourself a ball peen hammer. That's the best. All right, I'm gonna pause the video again and I'll uh, show you what's going on here in a little bit. All right, scrappers, I'm back. I managed to yank. This is more cast aluminum off the uh, off these things. This is all aluminum here. I'm gonna pull all this out and everything and give you a show around it real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Hi. Out wandering around. About to grill today. You're gonna grill today? Yes. All right. You wanna do a video? Get your hand. Whoops. You look like a little Whoville. There you go. All right. Okay. Back to the stove. What are you grilling tonight, babe? What are you making? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. There we go. Yeah. Well, check out, check out Christina Diller on Instagram. Buffalo chicken. Many, 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 many good recipes up there. And the best part is, is I get to sample them all. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, baby. I'll see you inside in a little bit. Alright, so taking down this heat shield. Yeah, that buffalo chicken's going to be good tonight, folks. Y'all do not know what you're missing. Got to go on to Instagram and look at the crawfish boil. That is the shit, folks. No doubt about it. That is an amazing dish. All these little tiny Phillips screws. I just, I'm a little lazy. I just don't feel like switching to my bit. But I'm probably going to because... There's just mad screws on here. Got a long Phillips bit. I'm gonna try out here. Look at that. Evil genius. As I'm doing this, so I'm seeing all sorts of brass fittings and everything on here. It goes into, you know, your, could be yellow brass, all sorts of stuff. This thing's coming down a lot easier than I thought it would. Whoops. Not a bit. So far, so good. Kept the swear words down to a minimal. Sometimes, you know, you gotta say the bad words. I remember when I was little, I was in school, I couldn't have been more in the third, fourth grade. And they'd ask me, and I got in trouble for swearing, I think it was, I got yelled at. And then the teacher, or principal, or whatever, asked me, you know, hey, where'd you learn those words? And I said, helping my stepdad with the houses. That's kind of why I like working with my stepdad. He would I learned a lot from him, drywall, you know, all sorts of things. A little bit of plumbing, a little bit of this and that. Got me into motorcycles. Thanks, Dad. Uh, but yeah, my biological dad, he's a good man as well. Absolutely. If it wasn't for my biological dad, I wouldn't know half the things I know right now as well. 
and thank you, Dad. Two dads, it's a good thing. That's lucky enough like that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pause the camera. I think I think this video is long enough. You see what's going on. I'm gonna break this down. Probably do a video in a couple more days of the scrapyard, and you'll see this thing in here. So uh, like, subscribe. As they say, what? Crush that button or the bell. That's it. I don't know. But anyway, have a great Sunday, folks. CC scraps.